this day. Grant that you may carry out worthily the office of bishop, and under your governance in all things, we may direct by a word and example the people entrusted to his care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, ever and ever. Amen.
the gospel and preach the word of God for patience and sound teaching.
should continue in the church. For Christ, not only adorns with the royal priesthood the people he has made his own, but with the brother's kindness, he also chooses men and becomes sharers in the sacred ministry to the name one of hands. They are to renew in his name the sacrifice of human redemption, to set before your children the custom banquet, to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with the word, and strengthen them with the sacraments. As they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters, they strive to be confirmed by to the image, to be conformed to the image of Christ Himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim.
from the flourishing of the holy flock may come eternal joys for its shepherds. Amen. As in your majestic power you allot the number of our days and the measure of our, of our years, look favorably upon our humble service and confer on our time the abundance of your peace. Amen. Give a happy outcome to the tasks that through your grace you have laid upon me, whom you have raised to the rank of bishop. Make me pleasing to you in the fulfillment of my duties, and so guide the hearts of people and pastor, that the obedience of the flock may never fail the shepherd, nor the care of the shepherd be lacking for the flock. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.